Oh, hey! Uh, so, welcome back to Morris Manor. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the, um, I think it's third creepy carnival build. And, um, this time I'm going to be showing you guys, um, how to make a, um, jar or cup filled with fake blood and put some creepy, uh, like, um, eyes or ears or whatever, fingers, whatever you want into that jar and just make it look like there are, you know, body parts floating in a jar of blood. So it looks really cool and it only doesn't, it doesn't even take very much stuff at all. If you, um, read the title, then you can tell it only takes, um, average tap water and some food coloring. So it actually, and it looks really cool, like really deep red too. So, um, stay tuned for that and it'll be here in just a few hey seconds. Hey guys, and, uh, welcome back to Morris Manor. So, um, in this, um, creepy carnival build three, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, uh, a pool of blood and a cup or a jar or whatever you might want and, uh, have some kind of body parts floating around in it. And, uh, the only things you need are some food coloring, colors red and blue, and some tap water, a jar or cup, and some, uh, cheap one dollar uh, body parts you can just pick up at the dollar store. So first thing you're going to need is to fill your jar with water. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Just, you go on ahead. I'll wait. Okay, that's long enough. So by now you should have some water As in your jar. I already just filled it up in mine. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put just the tiniest amount of blue food coloring in the water, like so, and then once that's done, you should probably pretty quickly put a bunch of red in. colors will mix pretty well, making it very dark red. Yeah, that should probably be enough. Then you might want to kind of mix it together a little bit. And there's some uh, nice pool of fake blood. And they might not be super visible. Can't really tell. It's a little bit more visible than it looks on here. But um, you can take your uh, $1 body parts and just kind of put them in there. Looks pretty cool. And that's, uh, I guess, pretty much it. That's how you make very cheap, but very realistic, fake blood. So thanks for tuning in, guys, with all these, um, carnival builds. Uh, as you can see, the eyeball actually is not even tainted at all from any of the food dye. So thanks for tuning in for all of that. Uh, keep your eye out for the next creepy carnival build. But uh, until then, just remember Halloween is in the air. This is Morris Manor, and happy hunting.